Hey guys, Brent here, and do you want to know how to make an image go from this to this? Well, there's one simple little trick that you need to have, one little piece of equipment that you need to have to make an image go from this to this. Stick with me and I'll show you how. Hey guys, Brent here, and um, in this episode I'm going to show you how to um, bring a little simple piece of equipment along when you go out and visit something like the Great Barrier Reef which we did recently. This is my my family, um, my wife and two kids and we went out on this uh, awesome trip on a, uh, a sailboat, a wooden sailboat out to the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. One of the seven natural wonders of the world and um, I'll show you what little piece of equipment you can take out um, to get some amazing shots when you're in water or in a place as amazing as the Great Barrier Reef. So this is just taken from my my phone, my Android phone and you can see um, yeah just a simple little shot that's the just to show the the boat that we went on and this is one of the shots we saw on the, on the way uh, some humpback whales and some of them were breaching but they're a little bit far off for me to photograph. Anyway, the lesson today is how do you go from an image like this, which is taken with my um, my Canon uh, 60D, which is what I normally do my videos on, just a consumer grade uh, crop sensor SLR camera. Um, how do you go from an image like this, which has had no editing, this is straight off the camera, to an image like this? There's one little piece of equipment to take you from this to this and that's this piece of equipment the circular polarizing filter so that's my suggestion if you ever go out to the barrier reef or somewhere where there's uh, water and there's a lot of reflection uh, you can go from an image like this which has reflection on the water you'll notice the all the reflection over here in the sky is pretty um, light and to go to an image like this where the sky is dark it's taken out the reflection out of the sky so it's made it more blue and you can see right into the water just an amazing transformation. I mean, look how clean and uh, light this water is over here below this sailboat compared to this. Just an amazing thing. It's like wearing polarized uh, sunglasses. And that's that's what I recommend you do. If if anything else, if you don't take anything else, just take the polarizing filter. That's all you need. You don't need tripods or zoom lenses or you know like. Uh, a, a long lens which you use for sports photography just take a wide angle lens and a polarizing filter. Here's another example this is a, a boat that was anchored where we went uh, snorkeling uh, just uh, just outside of Cairns on the Great Barrier Reef um, there's the photograph without the polarizing filter active and there it is with the polarizing filter active that just took a few seconds later. Have a look over here you can see the coral under the water um, it's just kind of a, it's not that prominent over there and over here you can see the the prominence of that uh, coral underwater where this is uh, sand at the bottom of the reef and this is the coral. Just an amazing transformation. It makes, it definitely makes your images. So anyway, that's that's the, the circular polarizer that I used um, for, my, for my lens. And uh, finally, just to end this lesson off, there's me. Uh, with my thumb up going out to uh, to snorkel the Great Barrier Reef. What an amazing adventure and you can see the horizon is pretty skew because this was my eight-year-old daughter who took this photograph but uh, before I got to her to take the photograph I turned the polarizing filter on to make sure that it would work and then I gave her the camera jumped onto the uh, the little Zodiac uh, run around boat and um, and this and the actual captain told me he said oh that's not a good idea to give your camera to your eight old eight year old daughter and I said oh don't worry she's grown up with cameras so she'll be alright so the camera's still good and um, and I'm still alive so <laughs> it's all it's all good anyway if you enjoyed this lesson about the uh, one filter to take along with you when you when you go out in the water uh, please uh, leave me feedback and anyway this is Brent and, and have a great day.